Is there change brewing on the Seattle waterfront? Maritime and aviation have been conduits for families like mine to break into the working class, but they're also historically white and historically male institutions. Toshiko Hasegawa and Hamdi Mohammed hope so. Um, my father was a trucker and my mother was a SeaTac airport worker. The two women have been racking up endorsements from high ranking politicians, union and Democratic groups in a race to unseat two longtime office holders. Lived experience is so important. Mohammed is challenging Stephanie Bowman. And we need steady, experienced leadership at the helm. Who has been on the commission since 2013. Mohammed lives in the shadow of SeaTac Airport and says it has shaped her candidacy. They have to work towards being a better neighbor. That community is significantly struggling with air, air pollution issues, noise pollution. Hasegawa is challenging longtime elected leader Peter Steinbrook. I've worked hard to create thousands of family wage, dock worker and construction jobs. The fourth generation Japanese American and Beacon Hill resident is pitching her environmental credentials. It is the economic economic driver of our region. It's also the top polluter of carbon emissions, what the second top polluter of carbon emissions in the state. Both women are seeking to make history and grab a seat on the board with a $700 million operating fund and $500 million in capital improvements, who both say the current leaders made missteps with a now quiet T-46 and the delayed plans for a cruise terminal there. Cruise does not create um, year-round jobs, it's seasonal. Terminal 46, which should be retained in order to do just that, load and unload, break bulk and cargo. We'll know in less than a week if the voters will keep the incumbents afloat or change course. We should point out that Bowman and Steinbrook did not return an email request for an interview about their respective races. We can tell you that according to PDC records, Bowman has raised about $220,000 with Mohammed not far behind. Hasegawa, however, has outraised Steinbrook. That's the story for now. Live above the Port of Seattle, I'm Chris Daniels, King 5 News.